Good afternoon and salam Sarawak ku sayang. The flouting of home quarantine is now an offence punishable under the Sarawak Health Protection Ordinance. Announced the, announcing the newly gazetted protection of public health yesterday, local government and housing minister Datuk Sri Dr. Singku Hien said the order, which comes into force from today to June 9, was to ensure compliance with the quarantine measures and force to curb the spread of COVID-19. The peak or the first wave of COVID-19 is on week 14. Uh, but we are more worried now as the business uh, start operational and more students coming back, more Sarawakian wants to travel, and uh, we worry about the second waves. And as a result, you know, Sarawak, we need to introduce a few other measures. He said the order needed to be gazetted to give it a legal standing so that those in violation of the law can be prosecuted. He pointed out that a feedback has been received regarding returning Sarawakians who did not comply with measures requiring them to self-quarantine for 14 days. And a number of people has been talking about people wearing wristbands, they still go outside, you know, go to sana, to sini, you know, and, and but because of this, does it defeat the purpose of quarantine at home? That's why under the gadget, that which is, uh, which is uh, done today, uh, we, it may offence if you got, if you got this wristband, it may offence if you don't stay at home. Meanwhile, Dr. Sim on his Facebook page yesterday said patients who have made prior appointments with Sarawak General Hospital, SGH, to collect their medications can now go to drive through pharmacy service at Cozy Square. According to Dr. Sim, the drive through pharmacy service was an initiative by the management of Cozy Square arising from its corporate social responsibility CSR program in partnership with, S with SGH. He explained that patients will need to take photos of their medicine prescription and send a WhatsApp message to the number as stated. SGH pharmacies will notify the patients when to collect the medicine via the drive thru counter once the medicine is ready for collection. The drive thru counter is open Monday to Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The World Health Organization, WHO, yesterday said the coronavirus that causes COVID-19 could become endemic like HIV and the virus may never go away. This virus may become just another endemic virus in our communities and this virus may never go away. HIV has not gone away, but we've come to terms with the virus and we have found the therapies and we've found the prevention methods and people don't feel as scared uh, as they did before and we're offering life to people with HIV, long healthy lives to people with HIV. Uh, and I'm not comparing the two diseases, but I think it is important that we're realistic and I don't think anyone can predict when or if this disease will disappear. We do have one great hope, if we do find a highly effective vaccine uh, that we can distribute to uh, to everyone who needs it in the world. We w we may have a shot at eliminating uh, this uh, this uh, virus, um, but that vi that vaccine will have to be available. It will have to be highly effective. It will have to be made available to everyone, and we will have to use it. Speaking at a news conference in Geneva yesterday, WHO's Executive Director Mike Ryan warned against any attempt to predict how long the virus would keep circulating and calling for a massive effort to counter it. He added that there are no promises in this, but it is important to be realistic as this disease may settle into a long problem or may not be. He, however, said the, the world had some control over how it coped with the disease, although this would take a massive effort, even if a vaccine was found. Well, that is all for me. I'm Yumi Srenifo, TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.